What's going on YouTube? It's Yes Bands here, and we are here to do a boy review. Electric skateboards. What else? To my left here, you have an Evolve Bamboo GTR and a Boosted Board Plus. All right, basically this is a, it's SmackDown. It is a SmackDown, all right? Uh, we're gonna go over a couple things, all right? Build quality, performance, versatility, value, and which one I recommend you. Help me help you make a decision. All right, this is what it is. This is what's happening, okay? All right, so let's just jump right in. Price, shit, cars, money, greenbacks, dollar bills. They're expensive. They're some of the most expensive boards out there. Um, actually, no, there are more expensive boards, like two, three thousand dollars. But damn, I don't even consider them boards. They're, I don't know how much they weigh, maybe 40 pounds, giant battery packs and shit. Battery packs on top of the board, that shit is ugly. I don't want none of that. I consider these the nicest premium type of, uh, more mainline kind of, uh, boards you can get, all right? <clears throat> Uh, and they're they're some of the best. Uh, Boosted uh, got huge, you know, became number one for a reason. They made a good quality product. They made that years ago, four or five years ago. All right. Now we'll just jump right into the build quality. They are both amazing. A very different type builds, as you can see over here. The bamboo has a really thick deck. They're both um, kind of the same length, but one, uh, the bamboo is flat in the middle and kind of concave, kind of comes up on the edges, where the boosted is very thin, arc shaped, and the boosted is, has a very flexible deck. And the motors, they're, they're both like belt driven uh, boards. The motors, the boosted, they're mounted underneath the rear trucks versus the bamboo gt it's uh on the back so the build are two totally different uh type of boards uh different builds but they're both very premium both are premium uh, so build quality neither one wins they're both very very good now as far as performance top speed uh hill climbing ability range versatility uh, how it feels carving. Uh, the top speed, they're both quick, fast. They're both, they, they're quick, man. They, they're quick and they break well, they break fast. You will bust your shit. You go top speed, slam on the brakes, you're not ready. Boom, you'll be on the deck. Happen to me, happen to this guy. All right. So top speed is good for like 24 miles an hour, and they both they both can hit that. And they both can definitely hit that. The difference is the ball can do it for 16, 17 miles, where the uh, boosted can only do it for three, four miles in the in the max setting. They have different speed settings, okay? Um, there are four settings on the boosted, I believe, maybe four on the Evolve as well. The Evolve's max speed setting is GTR mode. And uh, for boosted, it's one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. The Stealth has five, the Turbo. Um, this is the boosted board plus, it has four. So on four, it can, it can do that for four miles and the Evolve much, much longer, okay? Um, as far as climbing hills, they both will eat up any any hills that you're gonna go up, they both will do the hill climb just fine. It will chew up your battery, but <clears throat> they can they can hop, climb some hills uh, pretty easily. Now, carving. Okay, so carving, they both feel great. Um, I I will be <clears throat> evolved today for. Uh, 
12, 13 miles, and Rosa boosts it for six. And let me tell you, they both feel really great in carving, okay? They have different trucks, so they're gonna carve different, they have different deck, so it's a different feel. So the Army Evolve is a dual kingpin truck, and the boosted is a single kingpin. So theoretically, the boosted is, should be more stable for high speed, and the Evolve should be give you a tighter turning radius because just the mechanics of it, you have another joint to bend that uh, extra uh, joint basically will give you a tighter turning radius, like say doing like a, a U-turn on the road. When you boost it, you're really kind of pushing it to kind of do that U-turn. With the ball, if you have your trucks loose, you can just boop, do a nice quick tight turn. They both feel really, really good. Um, low to medium speed carving. I'm not at that max speed uh, carving yet, but they both feel really, really nice. And matter of fact, um, today on the trails, I really like the boosted. Like those, the wheels are just sticky. The 85 millimeter uh, orangutan wheels, they're nice and they're sticky. And, you know, carving, it felt, it felt really good. The board, the board is nice. So as far as performance, overall, um, I'm gonna have to give it to the Evolve because the Evolve beats it on the range. I mean, <clears throat> charge time, the charge time on the Evolve is two to three hours versus the boosted charge in an hour and a half. So say you stop somewhere for coffee or something to eat and you had your, pat, your battery, <clears throat> I mean, you had your charger with you, plug it in, bam, you can get a full charge on it. But the Evolve, on the other hand, you don't have that range anxiety. You can just run it for 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 miles without worrying about the charge. But the boosted having the smaller, slimmer battery pack and being overall much lighter, the boosted is 17 pounds and the Evolve is 22. So it might not seem like a big difference saying it, but holding it, picking it up, it's a huge difference. The boosted stealth or the boosted um, plus the battery pack is split. So in the middle of the arc, there is no battery. So it's nice and slim. You can pick it up with one hand and carry it around pretty easily. The Evolve is a chunky monkey. It is thick all in the middle. It's anyway, you pick it up the trucks, the rear, the side. It's kind of heavy and cumbersome, so a lot less portable than you know, the boosted. That's why I can't imagine getting one of those huge DYI boards with a, a, a you know, 40 pound board. I mean, you got it. I mean, you just straight riding it, it's not portable at all. It can't go in, into any place you can carry it around. So, the, as far as portability, that's where the boosted kind of wins. But as far as uh, range, uh, performance, um, I would have to say Evolve wins. Now, <clears throat> let's just get into A, boost it's out of business, okay? So you have no support. If you try to hook up on your app, you, uh, you can't sign in on the app. It'll just kick you off. You can't send your port to get fixed. You cannot you can buy parts while supplies last. Their website is still running. You can still buy parts. You can still buy new stealths and new stealths and refurbish uh, boosted boards and minis and mini X's while supplies last. Um, I guess someone else has bought the company and is just selling off what what they have left. Well, any supplies they have left. Well, that when that stuff is done. So also, hey. If you like that deck, that style deck, that boosted um, <clears throat> kind of made popular, hey, there are a lot of choices out there. X-Way, Flex Riot, the WowGo. WowGo makes a board um, that is almost exactly like the boosted. And the Backfire uh, Zealot. All, of the, all three of those boards, $700. Okay? These 
are 1700 to 1500 $1, So for half that price, if you like that boosted board uh, design, pull the trigger on that. So this SmackDown was kind of really an easy one. You know, Evolve wins all day. You know, um, they're still in business. For instance, I, I uh, took a tumble, you know, took a tumble, busted my trucks, ordered some parts. I also ordered uh, some nuts or some extra stuff separate, but the same day. And I guess you people at Evolve realize that hey, it's shipping to the same place. They they took away one of the shipping charges, so they refunded me the seven or eight dollars or whatever it is. And that's really good. I got it in four or five days. The new uh, trucks came in, screws came in. I popped them back on. Um, and good as new. So the support's gonna be there for the ball. So if you had to only get one, you ball all the way. You, you will not be disappointed. Um, <clears throat> I didn't even mention the fact that they make uh, off-road uh, AT wheels, a setup you could throw on uh, bamboo. So they, that doesn't exist for boosting. So if you want to go off road, um, there's just so much aftermarket support as far as wheels, gear sizes. Really, I mean, I've seen they make 23 tooth gears that can take your Evolve to 40, 50 miles an hour. Some craziness. Of course, you can't do it for any amount of time or burn out your motors, but you can do it you know, if the support is there. And that's pretty awesome. So if you can only get one. Uh, save save your dough if you're looking at something a little cheaper. Save your dough, get the ball. You will not be disappointed. You can ride that thing all day. The range, listen, 20 mile range, you're gonna have to be on the board for five hours to get that range. So I don't know if it's gonna really ride like that. You know? So, plenty of which I haven't even killed, I haven't gone 20 miles on yet. <clears throat> But I'll, I'll, I'll do it one time. Yeah, so Evolve wins. Like, like, comment, subscribe. Dislike it if you want to bring people down. I dare, I dare you dislike it. Like, like that shit. Subscribe. Recommend your friends. Okay? Peace, peace.